Hey, it's Harcourt from Play. Today, let's create an interaction that lets you change a component state as a user scrolls down their screen. On my page right now, I have this custom header that has two states. The first state is this default state, which is what it's going to originally be in. But we'll also have the second state called scroll that we're going to change it to through the interaction. So now let's make sure that the full page is selected and we'll enter interaction mode. In interaction mode, I'm going to add a scroll trigger to the full page. On the scroll trigger, I wanna make sure that the state is while scrolling because we want this trigger to constantly be triggering anytime the scroll is happening. And the direction here can be any because this page only allows for vertical scrolling. So that's all that's going to register anyways. You can go ahead and, um, and ignore the other two properties here. On this trigger, I'm going to add a condition, and this is how we're going to be able to tell our prototype which state to be in, depending on where the scroll is. So this condition that I'm right here, we're going to start with self, and this is going to target the object that this interaction is on. So in this case, self is the page, and we're going to call a property of that object using a period and then typing in whatever that property is. So in this case, we're going to do percent scrolled y, which as the name suggests, is going to be the percent amount that we are scrolled in the y direction, so vertically. And this value is going to be a number between zero and one. So that decimal is kind of like the scroll percent. So if the value is 0.5, that means that we've scrolled 50% through the page. So I'm now going to create a conditional statement here. So that needs to be either true or false. So I have this value and I wanna check if it is greater than 0.2, which remember is 20%. So I want this condition to be true if the user has scrolled over 20% of the page, and I want it to be false if they've scrolled from zero to 20% of the page. So now let's add actions that will fire if the condition is true in this if, if section, and if it's false in this else, else section. So let's add a set state action here. And in this set state action, we need to target the component. So this whole interaction is created on the page, but the component we're going to change is that header. So we will target that custom header here. And the state that we want this component to go to if we are over 20% is the scrolled state. So I'm gonna change the state property here. And then I'm also gonna turn on animate. It's actually going to interpolate between the two states. So now I am going to just duplicate this set state interaction by pressing command D. And then this second one, I'm going to drag into this else system, uh, section and you can see it darkens a little bit when I hover over it. So when I let go, you can see now it is connected to the else section. On this second set state action, we can keep the target to be the exact same because we're targeting that header still. We're gonna make the state default state instead. So now when this condition is false, meaning we're between zero and 20%, it's going to take us back to that default state for the header component. So now let's test this on our iOS device. So we get to about 20% of the screen. You can see it animates into that other state of the header component and animates right back up as I scroll back to, um, to 0%. And that is how you create an interaction that lets you adjust a component states using scroll triggers. Thanks so much for watching this video.